Join us for our NFL season preview. We're going to look at each division, give our forecast for the winner, some to be controversial, I'm sure. And then we're going to look at the teams we've identified as playoff hopefuls and give our playoff picks. And then we're going to actually going to do two separate Super Bowl picks. We're going to do one that's kind of safe and boring that everyone's picking, and then one outside shot that we really like. So we're going to start off here with the AFC East and look at these teams. Patriots are obviously in a rebuilding mode, but don't overlook that defense. Getting Christian Gonzalez back, put up great numbers defensively last year. Curious of what they can do on offense. Even more curious to see what Aaron Rodgers is going to do with that powerful offense, potentially powerful, to go along with that strong defense. And then we look at Buffalo, obviously the defending AFC East division champ. Losing Stephon Diggs is going to hurt probably more than they realize. And then the Dolphins, great early in the season, warm Miami temperatures, struggle late. They've got three tough road games late in November and December. So we like the Jets here. It's kind of our dark horse. No one else is picking AFC East prediction. We'll tell you why. We think Rodgers, if he stays healthy, it's a caveat there. With this defense, defense went 7-10 with mediocre quarterback play. Switching now to the AFC North, again, most people are picking the Bengals to come back, assuming Joey B is healthy. We look at that defense, and we're not quite so sure. We think that if you look at the teams, the Ravens were this play away from going to the Super Bowl last year. The Browns, phenomenal defense. We're still not sold on Deshaun yet. And then the Bengals, the defense can make plays like this, but really they were below average. And then the Steelers, we think, still a year away, although we like what they've got building over there. So looking at this, we think the Ravens have to be the clear-cut favorite. We thought they were the best team in the AFC, just lost the championship game. That happens. It's what makes football so interesting. AFC South, going into the last season, the Jags looked like a lock to win that division. No one really saw C.J. Stroud and the Texans coming out of nowhere to win that division. But few remember that it came down to a play-in game, effectively, against the Colts. They barely snuck in, but they have done a lot in the offseason to continue to improve. So we'll take a look at that. The Texans, again, were last season's darlings. It really started with this game, a road win at Jacksonville. They took care of the Jags. I think it was 37-17. Got explosive offense, a rebuilt defense. We're impressed with that. Curious to see what the Colts can do with a full season hopefully from Anthony Richardson's they could be contenders as well he showed definite flashes in a few games last season we got hurt too early and then the Jags could they be back Lawrence was hurt late in the season that could have affected that performance we're not sure we think the Texans win the AFC South the Jags can definitely contend but we're just not sold on Lawrence as a franchise quarterback in the same vein as CJ Stroud or say a Joe Burrow Great news for the Chiefs, bad news for the rest of the NFL or non-Chiefs fans. The AFC West looks to be a lock for the Chiefs this year. Chargers used to be a perennial threat, but we think they're kind of in a rebuild with a new coach and maybe losing some of their receivers. We're not sure that they're ready to contend with the Chiefs yet. Same with the Raiders. We like what they've done, rebuilt that defense, adding Christian Wilkins to go along with uh, Max Crosby and that defensive line should be really interesting to watch that. And we also like Garner Minshew, the quarterback, go along with tight end Brock Bowers. We just think I think they're probably going to need another year before they can give the Chiefs any kind of serious threat. And for the AFC playoff teams, we add the Dolphins, the Bengals, and the Bills as wildcard teams to go along with the division champs we already identified, the Ravens, Texans, Jets, and Chiefs. We'll have our Super Bowl picks at the end of this video, so hang around for that. We'll talk about, like we said, the safe pick and then the more risky pick that we like. NFC East, two disappointing finishes for the Cowboys and the Eagles. And then we have the Giants and the Commanders who are clearly in rebuilding mode. We think the Commanders might be a challenger as early as next year. Look out for them to maybe be a, a spoiler this year in some games. How soon can the Eagles return to an offense where they showed flashes like this? Jalen Hurts slinging around, Brown, the other receiver. Similarly, Dak in that offense. Great. How did they choke in that playoff game against the Packers? One of our biggest losses. I'm not sure. And then the Giants, could they rebuild? We don't think so. We don't trust the coach and or the quarterback, Dable and Jones. We think they're one more year and they'll be a new regime. So we really like the Eagles here. We never believed they were as good as 10-1. and one. We definitely don't think they were as bad as they showed at the end. We think they're going to be back. They've been improve the secondary and should be much improved this year next a division with two true super bowl challengers with the packers and the lions and then two interesting teams with the vikings and the bears bears with number one overall pick caleb williams and a rejuvenated receiver room should be very exciting and fun to watch the packers look at what they did to the cowboys last year just jordan love just carved them up and the lions of course unbelievable run if not for a few questionable sorry dan campbell bad calls not kicking field goals they would have been in the super bowl but looking at the Packers and Lions, it's razor thin, but we love the Lions here. We think at Lions fans, correct us, 
We think this is the best overall Lions roster they've ever had, going back to the Barry Sanders days and before that. We think the only thing that can stop the Lions would be some questionable calls, injuries, and just some bad Lion luck. The NFC South features three teams that could contend. Sorry, Panthers, doesn't include you. Falcons, Bucks, and Saints are all right up in there. The Falcons got better by adding Kirk Cousins. I think the Saints showed what they can do in the second half last year, and of course the Bucks are defending champs. Division, that is. We already like the Saints' pass defense, but adding Chase Young should help create more pressure. And then offensively, we think Derek Carr started to hit his stride the second half last year. The Bucks again with an overachieving year, winning the division with Todd Bowles and Baker Mayfield leaving the way. And can Kirk Cousins have more plays like this with a great supporting cast, good skill players? We think the division falls to the Saints. We think it's going to be close when one game might even be a tiebreaker just like last season. I think the Saints showed enough in the second half. Again, early key game, week three, they lost at Green Bay after building a 17-0 lead, lost Derek Carr, lost the game 18-17, the cost in the division. We think they come back and win it here. We think the NFC West could have three playoff challenges with the obvious 49ers, the Rams, and the Seahawks. We think the Cardinals need about another year. We'll see what Kyler Murray does, that he's back and healthy with Marvin Harrison Jr. But we like the 49ers, Rams, and Seahawks. We think the 49ers and Rams likely are locks for the playoffs, but we think the Seahawks are going to be one of those bubble teams. We'll see. We think they've got the offensive weapons. Can Geno Smith have a bounce back here? We think he can. The Rams, we think Stafford can do a lot with that arsenal of receivers. And we think the 49ers lost the Super Bowl on this play. Early fumble, we think they will be back. And so for our prediction, we like the 49ers to win the division. Not really a stretch there, but we think they are the best team in the NFC right there with the Lions. So we'll see what happens in the playoffs. And for the NFC wildcard teams, we've got the Cowboys, the Packers, and then the L.A. Rams rounding out the field to go along with the aforementioned division champs, Eagles, Lions, Saints, and 49ers. We think this playoff field is very evenly matched. We would not be shocked if any of the wildcard teams went all the way. I think especially the Packers and Cowboys have Super Bowl potential. Let's see our Super Bowl picks next. So now we're going to give two Super Bowl predictions for NFL 2024. One safe prediction is probably what's really going to happen. And then one prediction that we think would be a better offensive matchup and be a change of pace from the usual suspects. So we're going to start off with the boring one. we got the Chiefs and 49ers. And unfortunately for non-Chiefs fans, the Chiefs did get better, adding receiver Xavier Worthy and a few others to give Mahomes more weapons, just what he needs, right? And the 49ers, we think, are still the best team in the NFC, right there with the Lions. And for our second matchup, we want teams besides the Chiefs and 49ers with dynamic offenses, great head coaches with strong personalities, and just a team that's going to put up a lot of points and be entertaining. For that matchup, we selected the Lions and the Texans. On the Lions side, you got Jared Goff, Jameer Gibbs, and those receivers, unbelievable. Dan Campbell, what an entertaining head coach. On the other side, you got C.J. Stroud, D'Amico Ryans, and what they've done in the offseason, building on their AFC South Championship, adding Joe Mixon, Stephon Diggs, Daniel Hunter on the D-line. We think this could be a great matchup, and we'd like to get your opinion. What are the two matchups you would like to see? Uh, one you think is a more realistic matchup? that we'll be stuck with and then one that you would really like to see try to keep it away from being your your own personal team and give us your opinion we appreciate it thanks y'all that's all for this time thank you for joining please subscribe to our channel and we look forward to sharing our future videos with you